Okay, what's going on guys? This is Bruno and I hope you guys are doing okay. In today's video, I want to share with you guys some of the tips to help you learn a new programming language much quickly. The tips I'm about to share with you guys should provide you insightful information regardless of your knowledge prior to programming. So if this sounds interesting to you, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe right now, and of course, turn notifications on so you don't miss any video that I post. Without any further ado, let's go. So step number one, you have to learn variables, functions, if statements and loops. Having the knowledge of these basic programming concepts will put you in a much better position. In my case, what I tend to do, I tend to watch a lot of videos on YouTube, Loyal Site, Udemy, and so on and so forth. These will help me understand these concepts a lot better. So that's the first thing you have to do. Go and learn these little concepts. Step number two, learn data structure. So learn the most common data structure such as array, list, hash table, trees, and so on and so forth will help you understand the best way of storing data in a more efficient manner. So it is very important to learn these concepts as it plays a big role in computer science. Step number three is to build mini project. So building mini projects are the quickest way of testing the knowledge that you have been learning so far. And also it gives you opportunity to improve any area of weaknesses that you may be lacking in terms of programming. So to get started, I would recommend starting with simple applications such as a calculator or anagram maker or anagram solver. But if you like gaming, you can go ahead and play, do make simple games such as guess the number game or which I like a lot, you can make the hangman game. These are fairly simple and straightforward things or application and game to do to get you going. So go ahead and make million projects of your own if you like it. Step number four is to build your own project. This may seem a bit similar to the previous one. However, in this one, I want you to build something more complex, something that you're more passionate about. And this will definitely expose all the skills that you have been learning so far. So let's just say, for example, you know a bit of HTML and CSS. If you have been learning Python, for example, what you can do, you can fully build a fully functional website using this program language as a backend. Other examples that I can think of would be to build a web scraper or to build a simple API, anything that you really like or that you're passionate about, anything that would expose those skills, it really is up to you. So go ahead and try something different, something more complex, okay? And yeah, let's go. Step number five, ask for help. Asking for helping is by far the simplest way of learning. Making use of websites such as Stack Overflow, Reddit, and many other forums will potentially have the answers for the questions that you may be looking for. And also, if you know anyone who happens to know how to code, I would encourage you to go ahead and ask them for help, contact them, text them, you know, FaceTime, wherever it has to be done, just contact them and ask for help, okay? So yeah, finally, this is all I have for you guys today. I really hope you have learned one thing or two from this video. And if you're still watching this video right now, I just wanna say thank you very much. I appreciate you, thank you. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, like always, drop a like, comment in the, in the video, and also subscribe and turn notifications on so you don't miss any video that I post. And I'll catch you guys on my next video. Ciao.